what's up, what's up, and welcome back to I Can't Eat Shit podcast. I'm your host, actress, comedian, Shondalia White, and yeah, it's true, I can't eat shit, y'all, I can't, and it's super annoying. Am I a doctor? No, no. I'm just a woman, when you take her out to eat, she can't eat anything on the menu, 90% of the time. So, if you're one of those people that people know not to call to go out to eat, yeah, this podcast is for you. If you have gotten a little bit older and your gut is like, listen, no, I'm not the same. This podcast is for you too. And if you're just interested in me and my health and wellness journey and want to be a little bit nosy, yes, we love it. This podcast is for you too, so stay tuned. I started I Can't Eat Shit podcast because I was secretly ill for many years. People been asking me questions. Why you don't eat that? Are you vegan? What's that? Why don't you eat that? And now I'm healed, y'all. I'm healed and I'm ready to talk about it. This episode is about microbiome. <gasps> Ooh, so let's get into it. Okay, so in the first episode, I explained to you that my nutritionist was the one that started me on this health and wellness journey to healing my gut. But what I didn't mention is that she didn't heal my gut. Unfortunately, no. I continue to have a lot of gut and digestion issues. I know. Where they do that at? Right here. In my belly. That's what they do. They do it in my belly. They, they, it was going on. It was happening all the time. It did not stop. It was very annoying, frustrating, and I was just, ugh, I was exhausted with it. But I couldn't continue because I couldn't afford her. I couldn't afford her. She raised her rates, and I was just like, oh, I'm going to thumb. I'm gonna have to take these recipes and roll on out. But <laughs> I'm sure if I was able to maybe afford it and um, invest in the, the test and the um, labs that she offered, I'm sure I might have had a shorter health and wellness journey to heal in this gut, but I didn't. So then I went to my Western doctors and because I can use insurance <laughs> and they kept telling me that you're fine. Girl, you good. You a hypochondriac. I'm not a hypochondriac. What are you talking about? You a hypochondriac. I'm like, I'm not. I kind of am, but I'm not. I'm not because something really was wrong. They had you feeling like you're crazy, but you ain't crazy. Something's wrong. If you feel like something's wrong, something's wrong. But I just didn't know what to do. I didn't want to reopen what was messed up and what I did heal a little bit with my gut, with that powder I was talking about. Just go watch episode one at 1.5 of the quick tip and you'll know what I'm talking about with the cocoa powder and the, the things and the nutrition. You'll know. Just look at the description or up here, something going to pop up, yeah, and go check it out. But anyway, I didn't want to look bloated like I was pregnant. Yeah, people used to ask me if I was pregnant because I was that bloated often. It was embarrassing and it made me feel really bad. But with all that frustration and with all the just sickness of it all, I was like, I'm not going to stop here. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to figure this out, and I'm going to take it into my own hands. And you know that's what I did. So I got sick of the shits. I got sick of the shits, and I took my health into my own hands, and I did that by doing my own research. So I started looking online, and the first thing I'm looking for is an affordable way to do my labs. <laughs> I couldn't afford to get all those labs and test them, but I was like, I know it has to be something I can do to figure out, figure out what's going on inside of me that nobody else can help me with. So after a long time of, and a lot of research and a lot of headache, I found a microbiome test, microbiome. Now, this particular test was very affordable for me at the time. I don't know how much it costs now. But at the time, it was affordable and it was going to teach me what was causing inflammation or any kind of, you know, irregular irregularities. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Within my body. And boy, oh boy, was I enlightened, super enlightened. So first, before I get into what this test gave me and the information, I want to tell you what it is. So a mi microbiome alone is the collection of microbes such as bacteria, fungi, viruses, and their genes 
that naturally live inside of us and contribute to our health and wellness. Now, why is that important? It's important because these organisms impact our health and disease by contributing to enhancement or impairment of our immune system. Listen, if you don't know anything about health and wellness, I hope you know that if your immune system is down, you are down, baby. That's it. You need a healthy immune system. That's the whole thing. And you need to not cause inflammation in your dang on body. And guess what I did? You know what I did. I caused inflammation in my body with everything I was eating. With everything? Everything I'm eating causes inflammation? Yes. Yes, it did. How? I'm going to tell you. I didn't realize I was doing like a almost, it was almost full vegan diet. It was not full vegan. I think at the time I was still eating uh, seafood. Pretty much every vegan item that I was eating was causing inflammation. And I'll explain that to you. Based on the microbiome test, there was tomatoes, there were prunes, there were pistachios, there were cauliflower, there was um, oranges. They all caused major inflammation in my body. Now, everybody's body is different. So what causes you inflammation may not cause me inflammation. But for me, I was eating everything that caused inflammation in my damn body. And I was pissed. I'm like, dang, I was just trying to be healthy. I'm just trying to be healthy and look good. I'm in LA, baby. But <laughs> but it was causing major issues in my body. And when I tell you, let me just touch on cauliflower for a second. This was a time when cauliflower was the fad. Everybody was eating it. It was like you go to a restaurant and that was your uh, appetizer. It's like, you want some grilled cauliflower? Oh, we have a cauliflower crust if you don't want gluten. And we also have like cauliflower rice. Y'all was doing all that. And guess what it did? Cause inflammation. I'm destroying the inside of me. So frustrating. When you are just, just imagine, like I know people that have like autoimmune issues and stuff like that. Just imagine how much you are destroying your body without even knowing because you're just like, well, this is healthy. This should be fine. And it's not because of just because of your internal makeup, it's causing inflammation. You don't want inflammation because inflammation causes disease. You want a healthy immune system and you do not want inflammation because you are going to get sick. That's exactly why I was sick every month. That's why I always had a cold and some kind of infection or something like that. So once I stopped all that, Everything changed. It was like a full 180. I started, I wasn't cured. So it wasn't, you know, everything wasn't okay. But it was tremendous steps towards improvement. I'm talking about I started to see consistency where with my digestion and the bloating and the inflammation that I was feeling in my actual joints. Um, just a lot of consistency. I It was much better than before where it was just like, oh, now I'm dealing with the acid reflux again. Every, like, it was like, oh, okay. Now the acid reflux only comes up very occasionally. This was like, it was a huge improvement for me. And so I highly recommend looking into a microbiome test. I won't give you an exact test because I don't even know if that thing is still around. But I will tell you that it helped me and other tests I'm sure there may be other tests at this point that are out there, but it definitely helped me. And what that microbiome test did was it gave you a couple different categories. It told you what foods are good for your body, what foods are really good um, that cause inflammation only a little bit, and what foods cause inflammation you need to stop. You're destroying yourself. It, it gives you that highlight and some other things, and that's why I really enjoyed it because it was like, they had all the technical stuff too that I had my friend as a doctor read to me because I didn't understand it. But <laughs> and then they have the comprehensive, comprehensive portion of it where you can understand it. You're like, yeah, eat this, don't eat that. Eat that, don't eat that. Again, not the only test, but huge improvement. So once I changed my diet and I started doing that, I saw consistency and that was not the end of my journey. Of course it wasn't. You know it wasn't. <laughs> and it wasn't just because I wasn't necessarily always consistent. It was just because there was a lot wrong with me at that point. I let so many things happen that there was a lot going on inside of me. So this is why it took a lot of stages. 
and we'll get into more of that later. This segment is called, There's Another Way to Do That, where I teach you how I modify recipes based on my restrictions. So, I've always been a nacho kid. I'm that kid, when I'm pulling up to the movie theater, your girl is getting nachos. I'm getting the regular nachos, where it's just like the cheese and the peppers, or I'm getting the fully dressed nachos. If I'm going out to eat, I'm getting nachos. Like, that was my thing. I was a nacho kid. So, once I found out I couldn't eat dairy or the things that sizzle, what am I going to do about my nachos? I had to figure out another way because I'm making these at home. And I found out another way to do that. So this is my modified recipe. I'm doing a baked turkey nacho. We're doing baked turkey nachos and it's delicious. It is delicious. Don't knock it till you try it, baby. We not having no things that sizzle. So it's no onions and there's no peppers. There are no harsh oils. And there are also no traces of dairy. We not doing the dairy either because I can't do that. But if you can do it and you want to add in regular dairy or if you want to add in like your vegan cheese and stuff, do that. I can't do that, but you do that, okay? The full cooking episode is on TikTok or here on YouTube. I'll link you here below or above, wherever, whichever one. Just try it out. And don't knock it till you try it because it's good. It's good. Your girl can cook. Trust me. I think at this point, you know my stuff be good. (laughs) When you try it and you love it, Comment below. Let me know how you did it. If you changed something up and you loved it, let me know. I'm doing grain-free chips and also corn chips. I'm making them from scratch. We we, we going to do this together. Hit the links. Check it out. If I had any advice for you, which is usually the same, don't sit on those issues. Do something about it. What you waiting on? You waiting on it to accumulate? Don't do that. We're trying to prevent disease, not maintain it, right? Because gut health is important. If you don't, you definitely going to create some disease in your body. Take it from me. Take care of that body so it can take care of you, or you're going to be dealing with a lot of shit. This has been I Can't Eat Shit Podcast. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you all. Oh, it makes me so happy. If you like what you saw and or heard today, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. I Can't Eat Shit Podcast, and me on my YouTube, Chandelier White, I Can't Eat Shit Podcast. You can also follow me on Instagram at I Can't Eat Shit Podcast and at Chandelier White. And if you're looking for those cooking segments because you're listening to the podcast, you can go to my playlist on YouTube, I Can't Eat Shit Podcast, right there, and it has all the cooking segments, or you can also catch those, there's another way to do that cooking segments on TikTok. And I'll see you next time. I Can't Eat Shit! I Can't Eat Shit podcast is not a replacement for a medical professional. If you need help, seek out a trained medical professional, nutritionist, or therapist to help you with your specific needs.